Xbox versus PlayStation. Sony versus Microsoft. This rivalry has been going on for years. Who's better? What controller feels nicer? What console looks better? What graphics look better? It's It's been a back and forth conversation for years. Now I need your guys' help. That's why I'm doing this video. Really, I don't even know if I'll upload this video, but I need to vet. I need to get some things off my chest. And who better else to talk to than you guys? You guys always listen. So before we get into this commentary or this Xbox versus PlayStation thing, let me quickly say, if you want to get cheap, reliable Ultimate Team Coins, make sure to check out the description down below for UT Coin Traders. And also, the gameplay you're watching is some clubs. The other night, myself, Nepenthes, Zerker, Finch, Clutch, and Bateson87 all did some clubs. We decided to play some clubs. I hope I didn't leave anybody out. I think I got everybody. We decided to play some clubs, and we did the clubs because I was going to start a club series on my channel. And I will eventually do that, I think. I think I have a really, really good idea for clubs with storylines and stuff like that. So eventually that will come. But this session of us playing clubs... We decided we weren't going to upload it, so I had the gameplay and then I had the commentary of all of us speaking during the gameplay, but I decided, you know what, I'm not going to let this one fly. Uh, it, the commentary between us wasn't good, the banter wasn't good, it wasn't that funny, so now I'll just show you one of the games we played from that night and I'll talk over the gameplay because I needed something to talk over. I need something to vent over, like I said, so the reason I bring this conversation up is because... You might have watched my pack opening from the other day, and I talked a little bit about Xbox One and the PlayStation 4, but I want to get a little bit more into detail. And I, and I, and I need y'all's help because I, I was chilling on Amazon, and Amazon sold out already. They sold out of their PlayStations already. That's insane, but I was sitting there before they sold out. And, and I was sitting there, and I was about to order the PS4, and I said, well, I'm only going to pre-order one. I'm going to get both, but I'm going to pre-order one. And I was thinking, let me order, let, let me pre-order PlayStation 4. But then I started thinking, is the EA downloadable content, the exclusive stuff for, for Xbox going to be better? Is it going to be groundbreaking exclusive content? Is it going to be something massive? Now, as a YouTuber... As a YouTuber, like you guys know, you always want to be one of the first to get your hands on something because when you're one of the first, then you you can bring the new information to your viewers before anybody else, and that's what you want. That's what you want as a YouTuber. So the exclusive stuff would be big as a YouTuber, but is it that big of a deal? Is it is it that massive? I just don't know. What do you guys think? I need you guys to let me know in the comments down below. If you think the Xbox downloadable content or just the FIFA 14 exclusive stuff that's going to be on Xbox is going to be something big. Or you think it's just going to be downloadable boots. Maybe, maybe, maybe downloadable legendary kits. Or do you think it'll be something crazy like... Ah, what else? I don't know. What else? What, what could be something crazy? Like, well, what if it was something like, damn, I don't even know. I don't know what it could be that could be so epic that would be groundbreaking. But it must be something good, right? So, as I was about to order this PlayStation, I started thinking, am I making a mistake? Do I need to be pre-ordering the Xbox One? I just don't know what to do. <laughs> So let me know in the comments down below. Are you for the Xbox? Are you for the PlayStation 4? That's what it is, right? Play, yeah, PlayStation 4, Xbox One. Now, I'll give you some reasons why I don't want to go with the Xbox One. Or why I don't want to pre-order the Xbox One. I'm going to get it. But I was just going to pre-order one of them. And then wait later in the year when the price drops a bit. And then pick up the other one. That's what I was going to do. I'm going to be honest with you. Because there's no point in me rushing out. And, and pre-ordering both consoles. That's what I was going to do. I was going to pre-order both of them. But then they're going to arrive. And I'm going to sit here thinking to myself. Well. I'm only going to play one of them. So I might as well just pre-order one of them. 
play that one and then once the price drops pick up the other one that's what i was thinking about doing right so my decision has to be made now the things i dislike about the xbox and i talked about a lot of this during my pack opening but like i said i'm gonna get more in detail about this so they, they've come out and they try to clear up some of the rumors that were going around one thing was a rumor that like the xbox the connect always listens to you it pretty much spies on you so you know if you're in your bedroom doing something really bad some someone's listening to you <laughs> someone's watching you and 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 to me i don't really care because i don't do nothing i don't do nothing that's you know, I don't do nothing that's that's bad. Yeah, at least I don't think I do. I don't I don't you know, I don't say talk about illegal stuff. I don't I don't do nothing illegal in my house. I don't really care who watches me, but it is it is kind of messed up that people it's just an invasion of privacy, right? You don't want people, you know, you, well, what if you bring a girl back to your house and and you took her to a movie and you took her to a nice dinner and now she's failing you and and you get home and she starts putting her hands on you and you're like, "Oh my days, what do I do?" Well, you know what you're going to do. Problem is someone might be watching you. <laughs> so that's that's one of the downfalls to the Xbox, right? That's one of the things that make you go, hmm, maybe, maybe I should stay away from this thing. Another thing that I thought was pretty messed up with the Xbox was you got to log on once a day onto the internet just to make sure you're not doing nothing illegal. Now, I'm going to be 100% honest with you. When I, when I hear a song I like on the radio, I jump on iTunes and I buy it. I've always been that way. I, I, because if you really enjoy something, okay? If you really, really enjoy something, you should support it. And the only way you can support it is by purchasing it. it with a program, with a music, with an artist, with a movie, with a game. If When you purchase this video game or when you purchase this song... It helps the company not go bankrupt. It helps the artist be motivated to make more music. A lot of people say music's bad nowadays. Music's not as good as it used to be. And the reason you don't really get good albums anymore is because everybody's downloading them. So the artist is saying, well, why am I going to put all this work into my music if people aren't even going to buy it? So now, now, they're, now they're half-assing stuff. And your ass ain't a cuss word. <laughs> They're half-assing their albums because people are downloading them. You know, pro programs, companies stop making programs because people are downloading them. I get it. I understand that. That's why I always purchase my stuff. Now, I know people are in situations where they can't buy stuff. And, yo, do what you do. I'm not telling you to stop doing what you're doing. I'm telling you, if you can support it, you should. And if you can't, then do what you do, baby. Everybody's got to get there. So I understand that. But what I'm trying to say is... I understand that Xbox is trying to look out for the companies by making sure people aren't getting stuff a bootleg. Making sure people aren't picking stuff up on the corner and then coming home and playing it without paying for it. I get it. I understand that. That's cool. But not everybody can log on the internet. I was thinking to myself, yeah? Last year sometime, my internet went down for like a week. I got Comcast and Comcast is a bit eh. They're always messing up. So my internet went down for a week. So for that entire week, I wouldn't be able to play my console. Now, not even offline? You telling me I can't even jump on career mode or manager mode and, and play some FIFA? I can't even jump on my player on NBA 2K you know, 13 or 14 or whatever it is and play some my player while the internet's down? To me, that's a bit messed up. Now... There's a lot of people who go through tough patches in their life. It happens, all right? Everybody goes through a rough patch in their life. Maybe somebody loses their job. Maybe, maybe you get laid off. Maybe you get an injury and you can't work. So not everybody could pay for the internet. So you're trying to tell me somebody goes out and wastes three, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred dollars on this Xbox, on this this square box of material that plays your video games. And you can't afford your internet, so your internet goes off for a month. You telling me that's this 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 piece of equipment that I paid six hundred dollars for, or four hundred, or five hundred, whatever it is. This piece of equipment I paid so much damn money for, I can't I can't play offline because because I got injured and I can't go to work. 
It just doesn't make sense to me. It, I, I don't understand how a company like Microsoft, a company that's invented so many damn good things, the company that, you know, man, just an epic company, could even think this was a good idea. Now, I saw a video of the Microsoft guy, one of the head guys. And like I said, I talked about a lot of this stuff in my pack opening, but I'm getting more into detail now, as you can tell. But I saw, I saw this, the guy make a video, and in the video he says... If you, if you don't have internet access, what I'm going to need you to do is go to the store and get yourself an Xbox 360. What the f- That's your answer? You want me to go buy an old piece of junk Xbox 360 instead of getting an Xbox One because I don't have access to the internet? Now I know it's 2013 and everybody should have internet access. But like I said, things happen in people's lives. You know, people get laid off. I have so many friends that... Look, here in America, the economy is terrible. Okay? The economy is... It, it's 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 bad, yo. It's hard to find jobs here. Now, you, you look at, like, countries like Greece and Portugal and countries like this. People are struggling to find work. And so it's going to be hard for them to have internets in their household. And now they can't even... They're already stressing over bills. And now they can't even sit down and play a game of FIFA because they don't have the internet? What's crazy to me is this, when I was at E3, not this E3, but the past E3, I was talking to Rom, Rom is a guy that used to work for EA, I was talking to Rom and Alistair Reed, um, two awesome guys, Alistair Reed still works for E3, I mean not for E3, for EA, and Rom used to work for EA, he moved on to a new job, but we were sitting down having a conversation, I was like, and I said to them, I said, Ultimate Team is epic, man. You guys must do really well with that. You know, that's that's probably what EA focuses on now, right? And they were like, nah. Our most played mode in FIFA's career mode. Hey, Xbox. That's an offline mode, baby. You don't need the internet for that. But wait, I need the internet to play the console? It just doesn't make sense. The most played modes... In most games are offline modes because people have poo poo internet. Not everybody can afford fast, fast internet. So it, it, it's, it's, it's disappointing to me, man. And I'm going to tell you why it's disappointing to me. And my entire life, I played PlayStation. PlayStation 1, I had it. PlayStation 2, I had it. PlayStation 3, I had it the day it came out. I remember PlayStation 3, my father purchased that console for like. I think he paid like six, seven hundred dollars to get it the day it came out. He paid loads of money, yo. And he, he bought three games with it. We had it the day it came out, yo. The day that thing came out, we had it. You know, thanks to my dad. My dad got that. So I was young when that thing came out. I think I was still, I think I was still in high school. So my dad picked that thing up and we had it. And then finally, when PlayStation got hacked, I said, you know what? PlayStation got hacked. I gotta get I gotta get on this Xbox. I had an Xbox already, but I just didn't play it. I said, I got to get on Xbox now. So when I jumped on Xbox, I liked it. I loved it. I loved FIFA on the Xbox. And a lot of my friends were on the Xbox. So I never went back to the PlayStation. And this was all because they got hacked. So something bad happened in the PlayStation community, which took me to the Xbox. Well, now I look at this Xbox situation like something bad just happened in the Xbox community. And it's going to take me right back to the PlayStation. And, and I just haven't really come to a conclusion of... Well, I haven't really come to an answer of wh how is this Xbox better than PlayStation? If you look at the two companies right now, and I'm not fanboying, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just going back. I'm venting. I'm venting, and I want your guys' opinion on this because I, I want to know how you guys feel about it. So, I was, I was, looking, I was looking up stuff about both consoles before I pre-ordered one of them, and I was Googling everything, and Xbox has all these, like, they're, they're coming out and trying to clear up what they've done. They're trying to they're trying to unfold the mess they've done. They, they've dug themselves a hole with all this stuff they put out. And now now they're starting to like say, oh, you know, you don't you can turn off the connect stuff. Uh, you know, you, you got to log on to the Internet, but it's not that big of a deal. And they're trying to clear up what they've done. And the only reason the company does that is because they see that their stock and their, their company is about to be affected by something. So you can see just by the way Microsoft's acting, acting that a lot of people are like me and have turned to Sony. Now I look at Sony and I say, let me find something real bad about the console. Let me find something really, really bad like, like, like Xbox did. And I started searching on Google. Don't worry. 
I'm still looking to find something bad. I mean, yeah, you know, people are saying, oh, the game lagged. The game lagged at E3. That's, that's a terrible system. Maybe the system will be laggy, but it's $100 cheaper. I don't need the internet. Yeah, I, I, people ain't gonna be listening to me when I bring a girl back to my house. Hey, student, you wanna go back to my house? Yeah, I wanna go back to your house. Cool, yeah, the government's gonna listen to us real quick while I buy you a drink. <laughs> uh, like, I just, I don't I don't know, man. It's, it's, it's crazy that Microsoft took this route. It really, really is. I can't believe they did it. They're such a good company. I can't believe they did it. So anyways, I don't know. I've been going back and forth with the console and... I've sat here for what 15 minutes and pretty much said so many damn reasons why I like the PlayStation But still I sit there and I say Maybe I should pre-order the Xbox instead because the Xbox 360 was I liked it so much over the PlayStation And I'm a PlayStation guy. I've always been but the Xbox the the party the 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 the, the, the live the Xbox live the software everything was better for me when I when I switched after PlayStation got hacked but now I just feel like the Xbox did me dirty. And they didn't do me dirty because, you know, thank goodness I have internet access all the time. You know, that's, that's one thing that I need because of what I do for a living. So I need the internet. I got to be on the internet all day. I spend, I spend so much time on the internet. So I need it. But I feel bad for people that... that can 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 allow themselves to get on the internet and you know and i like i said i know friends that are unemployed i, I know people that their parents are struggling to pay their mortgage and internet's not always an easy thing to get to you know and it's it's tough to see a big company like microsoft such an epic company such a such a a, a company microsoft and, and sony have made Let's be honest with each other. What they've done with gaming, what they've done with the stuff we play nowadays. I mean, they, they've been, it's such a big part of our generation. They've done epic things for us to have fun. But now they're, they're a company like this. I think they're just making a massive mistake. I can't believe it. I just, I couldn't believe how big of a mistake they were making. That almost went in. But, you know, I, I don't know. I guess, I guess the reason... I haven't got I ordered the PlayStation yet was because of the the exclusive content on the Xbox and so I bring that 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 con that that thing up again see because FIFA is always the game I play FIFA FIFA 13 FIFA 14 you know FIFA 1 all the FIFAs yo this is what I play this is my game I love this game I'll always play it even if it wasn't for YouTube I always play this game this is the only game I like right so well I like other games but this is just my favorite game and and for me, the exclusive stuff. I'm a, I'm a FIFA fan. I want everything exclusive. You know, if there's anything in the game, I want to make sure I'm getting my hands on it. And for me to go to PlayStation and not get that, it's kind of like, damn, I'm, I'm screwing myself over, right? Because I know it's gonna come out, and if it's something epic, I'm gonna say to myself, oh man, why didn't I get the Xbox? But there's just so many rights. There's so many rights for the PlayStation. It seems like there's so many wrongs for the Xbox now. Looking looking at both controllers. I've heard a lot of good things about controllers. I talked to Cal Freeze and Cal Freeze was out at E3 and he said both controllers feel really good. He said the Xbox One feels identical to the one that's already out for Xbox 360. And he also said the PlayStation 1 felt the PlayStation 4 controller felt really really good as well. So I've heard great things about both controllers and actually I'm actually regretting. I don't know if you guys I said in my ex, in my pack opening. I I, I um I got invited to E3 and I, I rejected to go because I wanted to spend time with my family on my birthday. Last E3, I was out in LA and I didn't get to spend time with my family. I didn't even celebrate my birthday. I celebrated my birthday with Air Japes and Wee Peeler and uh, Jack Attack and who else was out there? And Trout. And it was it was nice. It was nice to spend it with friends, you know, with people from YouTube that I've become friends with. But, you know, I want to spend this birthday with my family. I wanted to hang out with my brother and stuff like that and, and my parents so I decided not to go to E3 and I'm regretting it because I would have been able to feel the controllers and then come back and make my decision now the thing is from a lot of people that went to E3 I've talked to them and they've ordered the X, the PlayStation they've pre-ordered the PlayStation so I'm thinking to myself I'm wondering like is, is the PlayStation the way to go do they see something do they know something I don't know I don't know man but 
I've been venting for so damn long. <laughs> and I need you guys to let me know in the comments down below. Let me know, Xbox or... Or, or, or PlayStation. And I know a lot of people that like Microsoft and Xbox. And I'm like, come on, Skills. You made this video. You're pretty much bashing the Xbox. And you're not saying nothing bad about Sony. To be honest, right now, I can't say nothing bad about Sony. But if you go look at my videos a couple months back. Actually, I wasn't really doing YouTube when they got hacked. I was more live streaming. I was bashing Sony completely in my live stream. Because when you get hacked and you go down for a month. Come on, yo. What kind of a business are you? What kind of a company are you? You know what I mean? Like... So yeah, Sony has bad. I have bad memories with Sony too. Don't get it. Don't get it twisted. Sony did some did me dirty too when the servers went down for four months and I couldn't live stream or for a month and I couldn't live stream. I had to go to Xbox. But there's a difference between you getting hacked and you pretty much saying, "Well, if you don't got money, you ain't playing," because that's pretty much what they're saying. It's almost like a. It seems like Xbox going the real money route, like the mill, the real like. If if Xbox was a YouTube channel, they'd be like, you know what, the, you know what the viewers would be saying, they'd be like, unsub, unsub, money whore, unsubbing money whore. <laughs> That's what people would be saying because play Xbox is going real money whoreish with with making sure you're on the internet so you can't bootleg, making sure, you know, just all that nonsense. All that stuff is strictly money and companies and, and making more money, you know what I mean? If you can't get on the internet, then you just need to be playing an Xbox 360 because you ain't rich enough to play our console. I don't get it, fam. I just don't understand. And maybe I'm looking at it the wrong way, but if you've ever bootlegged a movie, if you've ever bootlegged a game, if you've ever downloaded a song, Microsoft is 100% against you. They're, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to prevent that. And that's cool, yo. I get it. They're trying to prevent that. But every day you got to log on to the internet. You can't play. It's a bit harsh. So this is what I think is going to happen, to be honest with you. I think I think Microsoft's going to come back and have to fix some stuff. I think they're going to have to change some stuff with their console if they want to sell. First of all, the PlayStation's cheaper. And the PlayStation doesn't have any of this nonsense about logging on to the internet. Where Xbox has all this BS about logging on to the internet and all that stuff. It's bad. It's bad. It's real bad for Xbox. So, I, I really think Xbox will change it up and, and possibly, you know, revamp their idea. And, and who knows? Maybe it'll be different before it releases. But as of right now, what would you guys pre-order? Now, after talking to you guys, I'm really feeling like I'm about to just go pre-order the PlayStation 4. Now, I don't know if I'm going to upload this, like I said, but if I do upload it, please, in the comments down below, if you know something bad about Sony, tell me down there. Let me know. I'm not fanboying, baby. I don't make money on Xbox. I don't care who sells. I don't care if Microsoft sells two and, and Sony sells a million. I don't care if it's the other way around. I don't make the money. I just want to play the best console, and I want to know that, the, that the, the console I'm buying and the company I'm supporting... Is for the consumable, for the consumer, and not for money. You know what I mean? Not strictly for money. So, I don't know, man. Let me know down below what you guys are feeling. Let me know if you think I'm crazy and 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 how the hell did I just vent for like 23 minutes? <laughs> I can't believe it. So, after this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wait to read y'all's comments, and right after I read your comment, I'm gonna go to my local GameStop or you know. I'm going to run to my local GameStop. I'm going to make sure I could pre-order one of the consoles. And I'm going to make sure I get the console as, you know, the day it comes out. Because I really want it. So, I, I need to do it soon, though. Because I hear they're selling out all over the place. So, I'll probably head over to my local local, uh, uh, local shop today. The day that you guys watch this, I'll probably head over there and pre-order it. And, and get this thing going. But you just watched a little bit. of You watched two games of gameplay that, uh, of clubs that... You know, Nat Bates and myself, Finch, Clutch, and, and Zerker played. And it was fun, yo. Bateson was in gold being a boss. And you can see me. I was playing any. I was trying to take him out. But we were beasting and feasting, man. We won a, we won a lot of games this night. And I will definitely do a series on clubs at some point. Us talking is pretty funny. This didn't come out that good because we were playing at like 4 in the morning. But uh, we'll, I, I'll do it again to where the banter's fun and... Everybody's made it fun, but the gameplay's still good, and you can see that we're pretty good clubs players, man. We do pretty good when we play clubs together, so 
I don't know, I'll definitely be doing some more clubs. Sorry about this, I don't really do venting videos, but I felt like I needed you guys, and I feel like that's the one great thing about YouTube, that I always have somebody to turn to and somebody that will listen to me, so... Sorry if this was annoying, I wasn't fanboying, I just needed y'all's help. So please, in the comments down below, let me know what you're thinking about Xbox and PlayStation. Also, if you enjoyed this video, if somehow you enjoyed this video, like is always appreciated. Maybe I'll do more videos like this where I just get stuff that's on my mind out. If you think videos like this are cool, let me know in the, let me know in the comments down below or drop in a like. If this gets more than like 3,000 likes, 4,000 likes, I'll definitely do more videos like this because I always have things on my mind. I can go on for days about the transfer window, but anyways... I'm out of here, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm your boy, Double A Nine Skills to the top right. Some more FIFA to the bottom right. Some Minecraft with that yellow button. Subscribe. You guys know I love you. PlayStation, Xbox. Let me know down below. Deuces.